Chuck, I want to tell you about how your brain is wired. Uh, poorly would be the answer. Okay, like a like a house with with a bad electrician. That's, that's okay. an unlicensed electrician wired unlicensed, this brain. Right. Okay, that's all. The chewing I'm gum and, right. and yeah, scotch tape. All right, all right. So <laughs> it's not how just your brain is wired, just the human brain. All right, so. We evolved on the, you know, the plains of the Serengeti, not literally, but that's close enough for this example, where, you know, if something's chasing you, you and it might harm you, you want to run away from it, right? It gets closer, you go up mm -hmm. a tree, right. whatever. There's certain um, challenges that we face that require certain solutions. And in almost every case, the solution involves linear thinking. Okay. Linear thinking. Okay. Gotcha. So... Which is, uh, and by that you mean sequential, right? Sequent. Well, it's not. Yeah. So linear. I'm using very loosely here, but sequential thinking. Well, uh, so I'll give an example. So the tiger is running towards you, right? Or the lion. Right. If this would be Africa, so the lion right. is running towards you. Well, the first thing you say, I don't know how you say, oh, sh in. Af and whatever African tongue. Swahili. Okay. Swahili. How do you say, oh, crap, in Swahili? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right. Go ahead. Right. So, so the lion is chasing after you. And it closed half the distance to you in about 10 seconds, let's say. Okay. So you do a calculation in your head. Say, if I don't get completely out of range of the lion in another 10 seconds, I am lunch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. All right. So that's the kind of calculations we do. The lion is not 100 meters away, and then in the next second, one meter away from you. That's right. different thinking. Right. Right? If that were actually happened to us, we'd have a whole other kind of brain wiring. But everything that happens around us happens in these increments, which when you add up the increments, leads to what happens next. Okay? Right. So okay. the conclusion that we're trying to, to uh, promote or, or avoid. So linear thinking is, it did this much in this amount of time, it'll do a little bit more in more time, all right? And a little bit more. And this is how you construct your interaction with the world. Right. Okay, that makes sense. We have hardly any experience thinking exponentially about the world. Okay. Hardly okay. any. Okay? So you can think, uh, let's, let's give some other examples. You can think back to your grandparents, all right? You surely met them or knew them. Probably I not did. your great-grandparents. No, I knew mine. Oh, you did. You so you knew them. They, they lived did. a long. They lived a very long. Good time. genes. Well, my, yeah. my great grandmother lived a very long time. Good my grandfather. Genes. I think she killed him. Okay, Chuck, but I'm laugh. but she was still here. <laughs> 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 I don't know why that's even plausible. You know, it's like yeah, you can picture that, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but she killed him. But she's otherwise doing fine, right? Well, other than right. that, she was great. <laughs> <laughs> and what's she doing now? Oh, six to ten, and <laughs> right, exactly. Right. So. So uh, the point is, if I now say, uh, all right, so that was like 50, 100, 150 years ago. Now imagine a million years ago. No, you okay. can't. There's no way to do that. There's no, in fact, we weren't humans then for that matter. Okay. So, so, so many things that range in size greater than just factors of a few are very hard for the human brain to comprehend. And I right. group this all under the challenge of what it is to appreciate exponentials. All right, you can go from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5. In astrophysics, we go from 1 to 10 to 100 to 1,000 to 10,000. Mm -hmm. Okay? And the 10,000 is 10,000 times larger than the 1. Right. But if you're just counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 is only 5 times bigger than 1. So, this, so when you're in the world of exponentials, Oh my gosh. So it, what it takes to sort of wrap your head around it and understand it. So Earth is big to most people. It's so big to flat earthers, they think the round Earth is flat. So if you hollowed out the sun, you could pour more than a million Earths inside of it. That's insane. And still a million and still have room, not 10, not a thousand, not 10,000, not a hundred, a million. All right. Now the sun will one day become a red giant. Right. And it'll expand and engulf the orbits of Mercury, Venus, and, and, and be on the doorsteps of the Earth. Okay. That 
sun, if you hollow that out, could fit a million of the suns that we started with. Oh, Lord. Okay, so, so in astrophysics, we confront this daily, not only in size, but in temperature, in time, all, all these things scale. I'm, I'm going to be honest right now. Yeah. I'm still trying to conceive of a million Earths inside of the, the white, yellow ball that I look up and see in the mm-hmm. sky. A million. Because that, I'm going I'm, to, I, I hope this doesn't make me stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but try, try not to start any sentence with that. Just, just. Right. Don't, Stay away don't from begin that any kind of phrasing. That. <laughs> right. No, but I'm, I can't. That's like saying, uh, I'm not racist, but, you know. (laughs) So true. Whatever comes out of your mouth next is going to be racist. Whatever comes next is the most racist thing ever said. (laughs) Right, you know. Or I don't mean any offense, but, (laughs) right. In other words, listen, I'm about to offend you. Okay. (laughs) But I cannot conceive. Now, I okay, so you see these models of the solar system. And you, you see the sun in the middle. Oh, yeah, you right? can't draw it the proper size. But you can't draw it the proper size. Nothing but, yeah. And so now my brain, as I'm trying to conceive of the actual size of the sun, unfortunately, I am thwarted by the parameters that have been set for me psychologically by these stupid models that I've seen oh, my the entire models are interfering. life. Right, right. So they do interfere. That, that, that's right. Because if you showed the sun sort of large enough to see in the middle of the solar system, the, the Earth would be too small. You right, you couldn't you, see the Earth. You wouldn't see the Earth or the Moon or Mercury or Venus. You'd see Jupiter, it'd be right. a little bigger. Little, but right. So you, you exaggerate the sizes of the planets, but at that size, if you show the Sun at its real size, it would be really huge, and then you couldn't fit it all on the same page because the distances are also uh, exponentially separated. Wow. So, so, so these are the challenges that you face, but as an astrophysicist, we are, we are steeped in it. We are baptized in it. And so we have a slightly better facility thinking this way than most everybody else that doesn't have to confront it in everyday life. Okay, so here's a, here are examples of how this can mess with you. And I think you're smart enough, you might get the right answer to this. So if I, you discover an algae growing mm-hmm. on a lake, right? right? And you learn that the algae sort of doubles in the area, because algae is all about how much area the right. lake. It doubles every day, okay? Every day there's twice as much algae as the previous day. Okay. And so you hear that this algae is like attacking the lake. And, right. and it began a month ago. 30 you, days. 30 days ago. And you go there and you see that half the lake is covered with algae. So it took an entire month to cover that half, okay? So then the question is, how long will it take to cover the rest of the lake? That's the question. Okay, so it took an entire month to cover half the lake. Correct. Okay, so then that means that, oh no, but it's doubling. So that means, and it's doubling, that means it's going to double the next day. And that means the next day from that, it's going to double again. And that means the next day from that, it's going to double again. So no, I think to cover the whole lake, maybe a two days? One day. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't get too excited, Chuck. That's what I said. <laughs> Ain't that what I said? I said one day, right? <laughs> you, you went through one day and got to two days. Yeah, so, I got to two. So, so the, the, the linear brain is saying, oh, it'll take another month. Right. But the exponential brain says it's doubling every day. In fact, it didn't matter how long it took to cover half the lake. Right. If it's doubling every day, well, it'll take only one. one more day to cover the entire lake. Oh, my God. And in, in, in 10 days, it'll cover the Earth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, right. so it's two to the 10th power, and you right. do the numbers. I got another one for you, right? So, Chuck, I can hand you $5 million right now. I'll take or- it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I always knew I liked you. <laughs> okay. Or I can give you a penny a day, but doubled every day for 30 days. No, I'm going to take the penny. 
Yeah, so you know now. See, I, I see. I'm training because well, we just listen. We just if did I, an exercise. If I'm, we just did it with algae. You know damn well I'm not going to do it with money. <laughs> we, we just did this with algae. Now we're doing it with money. Oh no! I'm, give me you the penny. <laughs> you're taking the money. So if you do this um, after on the 31st day in a 31 day month, I'll be handing you 10 million dollars. Nice. Now, but I've been handing you money every day up until then. Right. Add all that up, it's basically the same amount as the amount I'm giving you on the 31st day. Right. So you walk away with $20 million, not $5 million. That's amazing. I so like now, that. Okay, so now, uh, an exponential means you have some number in the exponent of another number and you raise it to that power. Right. This is how you calculate interest rates on mortgages. Okay. Tell me about it. Okay. It is time raised to some power, and it's a factor on your monthly payments. Yep. If you have a floating mortgage rate, which floats with the moving interest rates, that can have a devastating effect on your monthly payments and your total debt. Yes. Had people been fluent in exponentials in 2008... They could have said when the bank says approved, you say, wait a minute. No, I'm going to no. go with a 30 year fix, not that no, interest only. <laughs> yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm going 30 year fix because I can calculate with a exponential. And plus, you, I realize you're exploiting me now. Right. So, so how much of that 2008 collapse of the real estate market and the rest of the economy might have been avoided? Had people been fluent in thinking about the effects of raising numbers to the powers of other numbers? Wow. And that is uh, the ex that's an exponential for you. That is, uh, first of all, let me just say this two things. One, I need somebody to start off with a penny and give me double that <laughs> every day for 30 days. That's the first thing I took from this. The second thing I took from this is, I need to call a mortgage broker <laughs> right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> right now. Wait, wait, wait. That's the one knocking on your door right now, right? Right, right. <laughs> so there's much more about exponentials we could talk about, but I'm just saying you get the gist of it, right? Yeah. And and when when things increase, oh, it's why people have a hard time understanding the power of time over that much time, right? So right. so you say, well. The Grand Canyon, how did that happen? You can't, well, given enough time, not hundreds of years, right. not even thousands, but millions of years. Millions, yeah. And you think you understand a million, but you don't if you think it's just a little bit bigger than a thousand. Right. No, it's a factor of a thousand bigger than a thousand. Right. We went from, from our mammal, shrew, rodent-like ancestors running underfoot of T-Rex... 65 million years ago to the entire uh, presence of mammals in the world, including the, the primates, including humans, in 65 million years. Right. That is even small compared with the time life has been on Earth, but it's way bigger than most people can wrap their head around. And they the say, only mistake in all that time was human beings. <laughs> Everybody, everything else was running smooth. Everything else was running smooth, man. And we had to come along and mess it all up. <laughs> so the people say that could never happen. How do you go from a reptile to a this? Or how do you go from a bird to the this? These are people whose brain wiring is linear. And so they cannot possibly see the full effects of the depths of time. It's so and true. And the depths of space to this. And, it. and basically, we're, we're, we're hopeless. That's why in one of my books, The Astrophysics for People in a Hurry, you know how I began that book? With a one, one sentence. You know what the opening sentence was? Uh, I forget, but I did know. <laughs> That's polite of you. I never read the book. I never bought the book. <laughs> <laughs> I once knew, but I've Okay. I opened it by saying, <laughs> the universe is under no obligation to, to make, make sense, sense to, you. to you. That's correct. That's very cool. And that includes exponentials. <laughs> yeah, somebody, made, somebody took that and made a T-shirt out of it. I hope you're getting paid on it. <laughs> Seriously, I, I saw that as a T-shirt. You saw so it, okay. I really saw that good. as a T-shirt. I hope you're getting paid. Well, there's a new saying now. You can't say everything's big in Texas. Everything's big in astrophysics. Texas, you lose. 
<laughs> Everything's big in astrophysics. That's all there is to it. Well, my wife is from Alaska, and you can carve Alaska five times and get five different Texases. So wow. in terms of who's the biggest state, uh, that's how that, how that plays out. There you go. Anyhow, Chuck, we got to call it quits there. All right. All that right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good uh, stuff. Another uh, explainer video. This one on exponentials. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Keep looking up. <laughs>